Hello. So, I'm going to demonstrate the black body spectrum. I'm going to start out with this. And there we go. So, you can't see me, but I'm here, I can assure you. Now what I have here in these tongs is a perfectly ordinary quarter. And by the way, if you can't see it, that's the idea. It's a black body spectrum because you want something that produces no light unless the light comes from its own glow as it's being heated. And currently, this is being heated. I am heating up the quarter with the torch. And it is getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Now, you notice that as it gets hotter, it's starting to glow. First, now it was glowing even before you could see it. It was glowing with infrared, but you can't see it. There are stars that glow with infrared. You could feel the heat if you had it next to you. Believe me, I can feel the heat, but you wouldn't be able to see it. There are stars that glow with infrared, but we can't see them with the naked eye. We have special telescopes that have to be in space because they cannot be seen through the atmosphere. But as you can see, it is getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And it's glowing brighter. It's now got a brilliant shade of orange. Now it goes from red, it's gonna go into orange as the temperature gets hotter. Not only does the color changes, but it also gets brighter and brighter and brighter. So we're gonna see if we can get, see now I've gone beyond orange, we're getting into ye, um, we've gone beyond red, we're into orange, and we may even get into yellow hot. Now, I can't go much hotter than that. I can't get to white hot because, frankly, well, my tongs would melt and the corn, you know, the, the coin would melt, it's by the way, a quarter, and other bad things would happen. So, no, I can't actually do that. But I'm getting pretty hot now. And, but you can see that now if I take it away. It's going to cool. It gets redder and it gets dimmer. I heat it up and it goes back hot. Now, by the way, this has been known to people since ancient times. Blacksmiths used the, the color of the iron they were working with to tell if it was hot enough. Um, glass makers could see the glass. If you try to shake glass and it's not hot enough, it will shatter. Um, they would use the, co the glow of the glass to tell whether it was the right temperature. So this has been around for a very long time. It's only in the last 100 years, 200 years or so that astronomers have started looking at stars outside of our solar system and based on the color, figuring out how hot they are. So it's just one of many things we can tell just by looking at a star. We don't actually have to go out and touch it because we can't go out and touch it. But based on the color, we can determine how hot it is. And you know, it makes sense when you think about it, you know, that's a, whoa, blue flame. You know, but you know, you don't need to tell you that a blue flame is hotter than, oh, I don't know, that flame. Uh, but anyway, this is about as hot as I can get it um, up here at Red Hot. And anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope the black body spectrum is a little more clear to you. As you get hotter, it goes from red to orange and yellow, and eventually it'll get into white hot. It could get to blue hot, except for this flame will never get it that hot. It's just not hot enough. And maybe that's for the best. But I hope you've enjoyed this. And have a nice evening. Bye-bye. And stop.